Give it up for Will. Um, thank you all so much. My name is Justin Brennan. Um, I started out as a punk rock hardcore kid. And, uh, and now I'm a politician. I don't know how that worked out. But here we are. Um, and I've always been an animal rights guy, animal welfare guy. Um, I went vegetarian when I was in the eighth grade. Um, you know, we used to throw buckets of paint at people wearing fur coats, the whole thing, right? We don't, we don't talk about that in front of the press. But, you know, 20, 30 years later, um, all those things that were important to me are still with me, right? It's no different than how I felt when I was 16 years old, 15 years old. Now I'm lucky enough to be an elected official, one of 51 who represents the people in, in, in the city council. Um, and all those things that mattered to me then still matter to me now, except what's cool now is that I actually can do stuff, something about it, right? I, instead of throwing rocks at the building, now I'm inside the building trying to find a way to make this work. Um, so, and, and for me, I mean, I think what's important is that we, I want to get to a point where there's places like Flatbush Cats, Flatbush Vet, all over the city, that the city is also investing. Because frankly, because the work, the work that you do, the work that all of your networks do, is really something that the city of New York should be doing, right? You're sort of subsidizing what the city really should be doing. Um, and, this, and, and in this city, the past 10 years, we've made a lot of strides, right? I wrote a bill to create the first ever mayor's office of animal welfare. No other city has an office of animal welfare, and Alex is here today from that office of animal welfare. So, that fire, that urgency that we all share as people that care about animals, we want stuff to happen tomorrow, but we're taking great strides here just in simply opening a place like this and creating a place like this. The next step is to get the city to really identify the fact that they need to be helping out and, 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 and subsidizing this. It shouldn't go into, you know, you reaching into, into your pockets every time you take care of a community cat just because we know you're going to do it because of who you are, because you have such great hearts. But the city can't take advantage of that. The city's got to step up and subsidize and put their money where their mouth is. So today we are announcing, I want to bring up our local council, council member, Farrah Lewis. Farrah, come on. budget, um, you know, in the, in the chaos of the budget, uh, it came down to the wire. What we did was we fought to make a, a, a first investment in Flatbush Cats so that the local groups who sort of do all this great work out of their kitchen and are not 501c3s, have no idea what a 501c3 is, but they've been doing the work. They have some money to help get them started through Flatbush Cats so they can come here to learn how to do stuff, to understand um, how, you know, how best to, to, to help end um, feral cats in this city. So we have a big game show check here to present. <laughs> it's for $150,000. This is just the start. It's a great place to come. Thank you.